Skype sex is where the guy tries to convince the girl to get naked on camera. We want to know what guys are really thinking. We want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And we mean the naked truth. So let's ask a naked guy. Hey, hey, girls, and welcome to another episode of Ask a Naked Guy. My name is Mari, and this is Kate. Hey, girls. So today we're talking about long-distance relationships. Let's bring out Naked Evan. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's a nightie, huh? Oh, Take a seat. Somebody had a nice night last that night. You're clean. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Today we're talking long-distance relationships. Do you think they can work? I think they can work if you mutually agree to cheat on each other. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> what? I think it's like inevitably gonna happen, so I feel like at least one person has to accept that the other one's gonna cheat on them. What's your time frame that you're talking about? Is this like after like a month or is this after like five years? I don't know, it depends on how sexual you are, I guess. For me, I guess it would be six months. That's your breaking point? Yeah, I think so. Hang around Evan at the six month point. <laughs> you must have had experience with a long distance relationship. Uh, yes. I would love to hear about it. <laughs> tell us, tell all of us here. All right, it was my girlfriend from high school. Okay. Uh, we broke up after high school and then like three years later started dating long distance. Okay. We dated for like a couple months long distance, but I think we were both kidding ourselves. So how long did it take for things to get really awkward? Uh, pretty quickly. Did you ever see each other? I saw her once she came to the city. How was the, how was the reunion? Uh, awkward, and then I never spoke to her again, so... What? <laughs> so if the relationship is good enough, do you think there's any hope? Long distance permanent? Long distance relationship? I don't know. I just don't know if it's possible. And what are we saying is long distance then? Like, you're in Jersey and a girlfriend you had lived, like, in New York City. That's like, let's say oh. it's like an hour, two hours away, but that's still long distance. I mean, but that's doable. Like, that's can, doable? You yeah. can do that? I mean, my girlfriend now is like half an hour away, so okay. I don't think that'd be a problem. So assuming that you're not going to cheat on her, what are yeah. different ways in your long distance relationship to keep things fresh? I mean, Skype sex, that's probably a thing you can do. Skype sex? Skype sex. I don't that's know a like, lot about that. <laughs> I, I know, it's the future. Okay, so Skype sex. What is that? Um, I think Skype sex is where the guy tries to convince the girl to get naked on camera and then uh, each person touches themselves and then you feel awkward about it and hope the other person didn't record. That's... Ah! <laughs> Let's say hypothetically you're in a long distance relationship and the girl says that you can't go to parties, you can't go out. Would that be a deal breaker for you? Yeah, that's ridiculous. What if she gets really jealous about things? Then I'd probably not want to date somebody that jealous. Mm. Yeah. Would you get jealous of her going to parties and things? Parties? No, I mean, it's just, you have to socialize. How does texting play into long distance relationships? What's cool about texting is like, if you're at work or they're at work or something, you can't just be calling the whole time, you can still like, talk to them throughout the day whenever yeah. they're, you know, not busy and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, a good way to kind of stay in contact all the time. Yeah. How long do you think you could mm -hmm. do a long distance if you really cared about somebody? How far away could that end point be? A year maybe, a little longer. I mean, as long as it's there, I feel like, you have that to look forward to. Yeah. As long as you like stay really mm -hmm. connected through talking, you could probably pull it off, but I think that'd still be super hard. I think if you're gonna start a long distance relationship with someone, maybe it has to start out as a relationship that starts together. If you've been together for years, maybe, but I feel like you have to end up living in the same place eventually. All right, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Right, thank <laughs> Just you. step Thanks. right this way, slip your night See in. you later. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like we learned a whole lot about long distance relationships today. Yeah, we totally did. You guys, we just got the naked truth from a naked guy. Make sure to subscribe and check us out next week. Subscribe. There's the button. Woo! Oh, all right. Hey. I could use a new nighty. No. What do you lovely. think? What do you think? It looks nice yeah, anyway. Yeah. Oh. You know what? You can just keep that. Keep the nighty. Well, you know After what? It's been and Maybe I will. You should. Yeah. Colors are nice. And I like color. Yeah, Just saying. Yeah, you keep the night. Yeah, I would.